Hello, everybody, and welcome to Five Minutes from Friendship. I am so happy that you decided to tune in today. Thank you very, very, very much. And so yesterday, you remember, we were talking about enduring hardness. Endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me today for Five Minutes from Friendship. Remember, the Bible says, endure hardness. Endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. That's 2 Timothy 2 and verse number 3. I have a couple Bibles sitting here in front of me. I have my Bible that I use, my primary Bible. And then I got another Bible sitting here that's, um, that I don't use as much anymore. But inside of that second Bible, let me show it to you. There are uh, notes I have written there. And anyway, inside of this Bible, there's a message outlined by a man named Lee Robertson. Let me show you his picture. That's Dr. Lee Robertson. Now, he's with the Lord now, but Lee Robertson was the pastor of the Highland Park Baptist Church in Chattanooga, Tennessee for over 40 years. Oh, how God blessed them. And uh, even to this day, his labors, he's with the Lord now, but his labor is still continuing on this earth. God's still using his labors. Let me show you another picture. Now, I know it might be a little hard to see here, but that is the, Cha the Chauncey Good Auditorium in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And there's Dr. Lee Robertson right there in the middle. And you see the people packed in as they've come hungry to hear the Word of God. And Dr. Lee Robertson gave a message on endure hardness. Endure hardness. And he gave five simple points to that. Endure hardness. And he said this, if you yield your life to God, you will face hardness. You will. And he spoke of that hardness and said that the hardness, the trials, the problems, that they're not worth it unless, unless, number one, the Bible is the Word of God. It is worth it to face, and, to, and not only to face hardness, but to endure hardness because the Bible is the Word of God. Question, do you believe that every word is from the Lord? That Bible that sits there on your table, do you believe that inside there is every word God wanted you to have? Absolutely, it's true. Secondly, that the hardness we must endure, enduring hardness, that it is worth it to endure it because God calls us and leads us out to be witnesses. The Lord has called you to be a witness. Don't ever forget that. That everyone has a calling. I was speaking with a dear saint of God. Her and her husband labored here at Friendship Baptist Church for over 30 years. And I was speaking with a dear lady. And she told me, she made a statement, said, everyone has a calling. And I thought, that is so good. And the Lord calls us and leads us to be witnesses, even in the face of hardship. And then thirdly, we must endure hardness because men are eternally lost without Christ. Don't ever forget that people are watching you and they need the gospel because men are lost. People are lost and going to hell. We're born sinners. We're born separated from God. We're born lost without Christ. And so we ought to be faithful witnesses and we must endure hardness because the name of Jesus is worth it. And we want to do everything we can to bring men and women to Christ, share the gospel and get the word of God to others. We want people to come to know that Jesus died for them and was buried and rose from the dead. And to see precious men and women and children place their faith in Jesus Christ. So it's worth it to endure hardness. And also not only because men are eternally lost without Christ, but fourthly, because Christ is able to save to the uttermost. Endure hardness because Christ is able to save. The Lord Jesus can save sinners. The Lord Jesus can save your lost relatives. So press on, believer. Don't quit. Don't give up. Endure hardness because Christ is able to save. And then finally, we endure hardness because Christ is the center of all of it. He's the dividing line. He's the reason. I'm saying to you, He's worth it all. And He's the center of life. He's the center of our existence. Make Christ preeminent in your life. You'll find your joy, your strength in the Lord Jesus Christ. Only one life to live will soon be passed. 
Only what is done for Christ will last. Thank you for joining me. Let's endure hardness today. God bless you. Hope you've enjoyed this little outline as given by Dr. Lee Robertson. God bless you. Have a great day.